now we will start discussion about the sole of the foot part 1 in this section we will study about the skin superficial fascia and deep fascia of the sole first of all we will discuss about the skin here in this region skin is thick and it is firmly adhered to fascia it has no sebaceous gland no hair follicles but it has numerous sweat glands after removing the skin you will see the superficial fascia which is made up of fibro fatty tissue here fibrous tissue forms several compartments which lodges the fat thus it acts as water cushion and in superficial fascia numerous nerves are present cutaneous nerves are present these nerves are toward the medial side here is saphenous nerve this is saphenous nerve is present root value L3 L4 here is medial branch of calcaneal nerve or the medial calcaneal branch of tibial nerve here is medial calcaneal branch of tibial nerve root value yes one yes two from here to here this area this area is supplied by or this area contains medial plantar nerve this is medial plantar nerve root value of this is L4 L5 and this lateral part here this part is it contains lateral plantar nerve root value yes one yes two and margin of lateral side some part here sural nerve is present this root value of the sural nerve yes one yes two so these are several nerves which give cutaneous supply to soul skin of the soul after this here this uh, superficial fascia here at the root of toes becomes thickened and forms superficial these are superficial transverse metatarsal ligament so superficial fascia between two adjacent toes at the root of two adjacent toes form the 
superficial transverse metatarsal ligament. So these are superficial transverse metatarsal ligament. After study about the superficial fascia, now we will move to deep fascia. Before starting the deep fascia, we must study about the dermatomes. This is dermatome. This area is dermatome of L4. This is dermatome of the L5. This is just one. Plantar reflex is elicited in this area. Yes, one area. Now we'll discuss about the deep fascia. Deep fascia is known as plantar fascia. Here is a medial tubercle of the calcaneum. This is medial tubercle. Here is a lateral tubercle of the calcaneum. This is deep fascia. So this is deep fascia. This is deep fascia here centrally thickened from plantar epidermis, and immediately here is thin part of deep fascia. Medially thin, laterally thin, and centrally it is thick. If you cut a transverse section in this label, you will find. Like this. This is central part. This central part is thick. This medial part is thick. Lateral part is thin. This central thickened part is known as plantar epidermis. This is plantar epidermis. This is actually. It is diverse or detached part of plantaris muscle, and here is a septa. These are two vertical septa. One lies here on medial side, medial margin, and one lies at lateral margin. This septa divides the sole into medial, intermediate and lateral area and there are and the septa transversely arranged and divide the stool into four layers so these are four layers of the stool this is first layer, second, third, fourth layer each layer has different types of the muscles so we will discuss in second part. Now this deep fascia modify here forms deep transverse metatarsal ligament. So these are deep transverse Deep 
ये डीप ट्रांसवर्स मेटाटार्सल लिगामेंट ये सुपरफिशियल ट्रांसवर्स मेटाटार्सल लिगामेंट पीछे फॉर्म बाई सुपरफिशियल फेसिया ये डीप ट्रांसवर्स मेटाटार्सल लिगामेंट पीछे फॉर्म बाई डीप फेसिया एंड डीप फेसिया हैज अंदर मॉडिफिकेशन वन मॉडिफिकेशन इज ये प्लांटर एपोनोसिस डीप ट्रांसवर्स मेटाटार्सल लिगामेंट एंड द मॉडिफिकेशन इज हियर ये इज द स्लिप्स ऑफ द प्रोसेस व्हिच आर अटैच्ड टू द बेस सो दिस प्लांटर एपोनोसिस हैज एपेक्स इट हैज बेस एंड दीज आर प्रोसेस 1 2 3 4 5 प्रोसेस and each process divided into two slips medial lateral medial lateral medial lateral and in between two slips there is a fibrous flexor sheath here is a fibrous flexor sheath this is fibrous flexor sheath if you put a section at this level Suppose you cut section at this level, you will find here is this phalange, and here is long flexor tendon that is flexor digitorum longus, and here is flexor digitorum brevis. And here is synovial sheath. This is synovial sheath around these two tendons. And here is fibrous flexor sheath. This is fibrous flexor sheath which covers these structures. So these are modifications of the deep fascia. So deep fascia modified from the plantar epidrosis, medial and lateral plantar fascia, here is deep transverse fascia and here is fibrous flexor sheath, fibrous sheath.